right, guys, it's Bat and Beta Day 21. And I finally have the tripod I was talking about previously that I ordered. So I have my phone in front of me instead of the side, so I don't have to be looking that way. I've got great lighting, the sun is over there, covered by some clouds, so it's not like glaring in my face. And best of all, today is Friday! And on today's Bat and Beta, that is actually the topic. What is the best thing about Fridays? Or what do you love about Fridays? And you know, there's the obvious, the weekend is upon us. The obvious for those of us who get paid on Friday, payday. And just as I was saying, that cloud is just parting away. And the sun is like right in my face right now. Yay, sun! But I'd rather it be like this than freezing. This past winter we had here in Massachusetts and specifically Western Mass, Central Mass. I'm sure you guys saw it in the news. We got absolutely hammered. Hammered. Snow was non-stop. I could not take it anymore. It was ruthless. So what else is great about Fridays? Fridays, you know, we got 52 Fridays in the, in the year. And most Fridays, I'm gonna say about 40% of them, I'm out with the band playing, and I love playing the drums, so that's great about Fridays. Say hi. Hey, hi. This is my nephew. <laughs> and I'm back. What else is on Fridays? Actually, this Friday, today, is beginning of Celebrate Holyoke. And a funny side story. I, <clears throat> I'm on Snapchat. You guys can follow me, Samuel Mateo, on Snapchat. And uh, my wife is interrupting my video. I already took the mail in, hon. I use Snapchat a lot. And Holyoke, where I live, Holyoke, Massachusetts, didn't have a geo filter, which is, you know, that little drawing or graphic that you can swipe on the, on Snapchat to show people where you're from. And so I found out that you can create your own geo filter and submit it to Snapchat. So I created two, but submitted three. The first one I created was birthplace of volleyball because Holyoke is the birthplace of volleyball. Um, I didn't put a lot of time to that. I I created a, a very quick design with a volleyball and the word Holyoke, and then underneath birthplace of volleyball. That one didn't get approved. I got an email within the three or four days. And the problem with Snapchat and the geo filter submission is that they give you like 10 different reasons why it could have been not approved, which is really, really frustrating because you want to know which one specifically. So you have to kind of guess, all right, it isn't this one, it isn't that one, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure the reason why the birthplace of volleyball one didn't get approved was because it wasn't a very unique design it was a pretty you know it looked very stock very simple which I was trying that was my that was my intent to keep it simple keep it clean fresh I'll try it again put a little more pizzazz into it send it again another one that I did was the paper city Holyoke is known as the paper city uh, at one point years ago before my time before many of our times 80% of the paper in the United States was made here in Holyoke. So I got the term, the paper city. That one I put a lot of time into. And uh, I modeled it. I'll, I'll post a, a picture of it here. 
and that one I modeled after a city that looks like it's been drawn on paper or made out of paper you already saw that and I figured you know this is pretty cool that took me a long time to, to put together I made a paper version of the city hall which is that middle building that looks like a church yes it looks like a church but that's our city hall and to the right of that building is very well known merry-go-round here in Holyoke uh, the Holyoke merry-go-round is right next to it and that one was approved I was so excited actually it just got approved two days ago and then the third one that I submitted was for celebrate Holyoke which I mentioned earlier Celebrate Holyoke starts today, and I know that Snapchat does a lot of um, event type geo filters. So it's only for three days. I submitted it as only for three days. I used their official logo, so I didn't touch it other than grabbing their logo, putting it in the template, making sure it was in the right location, you know, submitted it. Well, that didn't get approved either. And again, I'm like, well, why? Ten reasons why it couldn't have been so I submitted it twice thinking that the reason the first time was because I didn't include a really good enough uh, description or reason for submitting the geo filter so I submitted it again with a more thoughtful description and the Sun is gone thank God but the second time it also didn't get approved and at this point this was like seven days ago and I'm thinking oh well might as well just leave it alone I'm not gonna submit it again which was a bummer because I wanted it to be live for today tomorrow and Sunday so people who are snapping from the event which is a great event here for the community it's a free event 25 bands uh, and musicians 15 vendors food vendors and arts and everything it's a really good festival that had been actually had stopped 10 years ago and it was everybody left celebrate Holyoke but our mayor and this is getting very long-winded I hope you guys are still watching our mayor said I'm gonna make it a point to bring back celebrate Holyoke because everybody loves loved celebrate Holyoke and he did I mean he put together a community a community a committee of volunteers that did a great job it looks great I just I just drove by it it looks great uh, a lot of work went into it, but the Snapchat geo filter not around. So it was to my surprise earlier today when I got a invitation into a Facebook group message with the mayor of Holyoke, and I'm like, what's going on here? Well, to keep a long story short, the mayor found out that the Snapchat geo filter for the Celebrate Holyoke was not approved. He got into contact with somebody at Snapchat. They said, uh, send us the email that what, with the disapproval so we can track it down and we'll get on it. I'm like, yes, politics. <laughs> so they're working on it. I drove by, I took a snap to see if it was, it was, if it was working yet. It isn't. Um, even when I got my, the email that the Paper City Geo Filter was working, uh, it, it didn't go live until I got the email around 5 p.m. 5.30 and the geo filter didn't start working until around 10 so it took about five hours for it to go live so I'm hoping that by tomorrow the Celebrate Holyoke geo filter is working and running and this is by far the longest vlog I've done to so far and all I've done is talk and I'm sorry thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit that button down there hit the like button and leave a comment I look forward to your comments until next time God bless